Newest checks are on the way, and they could be reaching your mailbox soon. But how do you make sure that you receive yours? In this video, we'll provide you with all the information you need to know to ensure that your stimulus check arrives safely and quickly. First of all, let's clarify what we mean by a stimulus check. The term refers to the economic impact payments that the government sends to eligible Americans to help alleviate financial hardship during times of crisis. In this case, we're talking about the third round of stimulus checks that the government is currently distributing to millions of Americans. To be eligible for the third round of stimulus checks, you must have an adjusted gross income of $75,000 or less if you're a single filer, or $150,000 or less if you're married filing jointly. If you meet these income requirements, you should receive a stimulus check for $1,400. If you haven't filed your 2020 tax return yet, now is the time to do so. The IRS will use your tax return to determine your eligibility for the stimulus check and to calculate the amount that you're owed. If you don't file a tax return, the IRS will use your 2019 tax return to determine your eligibility. If you've already filed your tax return and are wondering when you'll receive your stimulus check, you can check the status of your payment on the IRS website. Simply go to IRS. Gov and click on the Get My Payment button. You'll need to enter some personal information to verify your identity, but once you do, you'll be able to see the status of your payment. If you haven't received your stimulus check yet, or if you're worried that it might get lost in the mail, you may want to consider signing up for Direct Deposit. Direct Deposit is a secure and convenient way to receive your payment directly into your bank account. You can sign up for Direct Deposit on the IRS website using the Get My Payment tool. Unfortunately, there are scammers out there who are trying to take advantage of people during this time of crisis. If you receive a call, text message, or email from someone claiming to be from the IRS or another government agency, be very cautious. The IRS will never call, text, or email you to ask for your personal information, such as your social security number or bank account number. To protect yourself from identity theft and other types of fraud, be sure to shred any documents that contain your personal information before throwing them away. This includes documents such as tax returns, bank statements, and credit card statements. Finally, when you receive your stimulus check in the mail, be sure to take steps to protect it. Don't leave it sitting in your mailbox for too long, 